Hi, my name is Leanne Bowden-Ryan, and I'm really excited to tell you about some research that I have coming out in developmental science. Do you know that we use our hands to communicate information to others? We do this when we gesture. Gestures aren't just hand-waving. They're meaningful. They give us clues not only to what we're talking about, but also what we're thinking about. Even more interesting is the fact that when you encourage others to move their hands while speaking, it can change the way they think. With this in mind, we wanted to see what fifth graders would do with their hands when asked to reason through a moral dilemma. What we found was that most kids produce gestures related to perspectives while given their spoken responses. These gestures could be grouped into two categories, those depicting single perspectives and those depicting multiple perspectives. We pushed this further to see if we could encourage perspective taking by encouraging children to move their hands while speaking, and then following that with a lesson in moral reasoning. What we found was that children instructed to gesture produce significantly more multiple perspective responses than either those told not to gesture or those given no information about gesture. These findings suggest that when children gesture prior to a lesson in moral reasoning, whether spontaneously or because they're instructed to do so, they're more likely than children who don't gesture to capitalize on a lesson in moral reasoning, and as a result, take perspectives that go beyond their own. This hints at a viable method for improving perspective taking and potentially moral reasoning and behavior. This has applications outside the lab because adults, whether at home or at school, can easily encourage children to move their hands while speaking about others. We're really excited for you to read this work and we hope that you'll take a look at our paper. Happy reading. Thank you.